Hi, this is Mike Kasha with Electrical Equipment Company. Today I'd like to show you a demonstration of IQ Agent software and its use as a maintenance troubleshooting tool. In order to do that, I'm going to launch the IQ Agent app that's on my iPad. You can download this application from the App Store. So, the IQ Agent utilizes the onboard camera of the iPad for some of its use. In our example today, we're going to be looking at this fictitious conveyor belt with a motor drive, with two motor drives, and we're going to show how we can help the troubleshooter with getting the right information right where they need it. Ideally, we would have QR codes or dot matrix barcodes right on the motor, uh, but for this simulation, we're going to have the barcode shown on my laptop computer screen. So first off we want to get information on this motor on the left hand side. So I move my iPad over to the QR code that's on my other computer screen and that pulls up a faceplate that IQ agent populates with live data. So right over top of this motor I can see the conveyor moving, the motor spinning, I can see parameterization coming out of the drive, I can scroll through the different values. I can look at full load. I can look at the motor amps. I can look at RPM, voltage, etc. Whatever I choose to configure in this faceplate. And I could also really interesting is click on speed, or maybe load frequency, and I can trend those values in real time right on the faceplate. The other thing I can do and I'll turn those off right now. The other thing I can do is there's an eye, a little eye, in the lower right hand corner of the faceplate. If I click the eye, the faceplate flips around and you get another view showing relevant documentation and whatever I chose to populate when I configured this point of interest. Maybe it's interesting to look at the VFD documentation to look at wiring diagrams. So this is the PowerFlex 525 wiring diagrams to show you terminal designations so that you could uh, get a fluke voltmeter and take a look at the uh, values that you see there. Other possibility is that we might want to know what the drive specifications are. Maybe look up the fault codes if we're getting a fault code. So here's the specifications of the PowerFlex 525 drive. IQ agent is pointing to the PDFs or the screenshots, whatever they are wherever the data is and whatever format it may be in. Um, the other thing we can do is we can point to uh, videos and play videos like how-to YouTube videos or onboard videos like uh, MOV files or AVI files, uh, this sort of thing. So now let's say in our troubleshooting scenario we have this motor driving one conveyor belt and we have another motor to the right hand side here that's also playing into our troubleshooting scenario so the two applications are somehow related and we want to know information on both motors so what I'm going to do is go over to the second motor and scan in its QR code so doing that pulls up the second faceplate that relates to the second drive so now while watching the conveyor move and the product go through I can actually look at both drives and I can trend both drives at the same time if that's something interesting to me. The other thing I can do is I can click on the little pencil or pen down the lower right hand side to do annotation. So I clicked on this and now I'm able to actually draw on the diagram that you see or the picture that you see. I can say hey this is the motor that I'm worried about and it pertains to this faceplate and I don't like the speed that it's running but I do like the speed over here and how that's running so that's good so I'm wondering if this bearing is no good so maybe I put a little note there all of that's now recorded with the voice and the annotation and the live values all recorded on a video so now I can take that video off my iPad and email it to someone to do a collaborative troubleshooting effort. Maybe send this this video back to the OEM, maybe send it to a colleague that has 
the ability to do a more in-depth investigation. There's a lot more functionality in troubleshooting. This is just one little example. This concludes my video. Thank you for watching.